Paul Brown Stadium may be getting a facelift. The Hamilton County Commissioners released a capital assessment last week, which called for extensive repairs. Uh, so what would a renovated stadium look like? Reporter Paula Christian explains what may be coming from better Wi-Fi to new seats. This report talks about the $493 million in repairs that Paul Brown Stadium needs. But if fans want the wow factor that they see at new stadiums, that could add 200 million more to the price tag. The Bengals lease with Hamilton County is up in 2026 and negotiations for a new lease are beginning. We are going to have to negotiate with the Bengals as to what's a reasonable amount for us to continue to invest in the stadium to make sure that it's up to snuff, right, for the fans and for the players. The Bengals and the county hired Gensler Sports to evaluate the stadium. Hamilton County Commissioner Denise Driehaus says the plan is to renovate Paul Brown Stadium. The capital assessment says the stadium is well maintained, but recommends repairs like fixing steel frames on stairs and ramps, replacing Placing stadium seats and updating food concession areas. Very basic nuts and bolts stuff. Now enhancements to boost the fan experience will be revealed later this year in a separate master plan. Driehaus is hoping for new ticketing options that would allow fans to stand or roam during Bengals games. You don't have to buy a seat. You can be a fan that stands in an area of the stadium and you can be part of the excitement. I love that idea. Kevin Reichert, editor of Football Stadium Digest, expects the master plan to contain a wish list of items that are hot at other stadiums. Well, you're seeing a lot of stadiums doing upgrades right now for on the fan side in terms of putting in the new suites, the new lounges. They're also upgrading uh, Wi-Fi technology. New signs and scoreboards, mega suites, high-end food and drink, and the capability to host year-round events. I'm a little surprised that no one has brought up the possibility of a new stadium. Reichert says other cities like Nashville started out wanting to renovate their football stadium, but decided to build a new stadium instead at a cost of $2 billion. So at what point do you, do you throw good money after bad? When do you look at a new facility? In Cincinnati, Reichert says a new stadium would cost around a billion dollars. The cost to repair and upgrade Paul Brown will likely come in at around 700 million, according to Gensler and county officials. So far, no county official has publicly recommended replacing Paul Brown Stadium. Whatever county officials decide to do, the next question will be who pays for it? And let's not forget, taxpayers still owe $189 million on Paul Brown Stadium, which opened in 2000. Reporting from the banks, Paula Christian, WCPO 9, I-Team.